my English, the very educational show about teaching you guys how to consult your friends or maybe your parents or maybe just everyone that you meet if you haven't seen us before my name is Ali Bongo and this is Cassie and we host a weekly show on Friday nights 8 p.m. on lojo.com called you can't can sit, sit with, with us the weekly show where we, we get, get wasted. wasted if you'd like to check out more of our stuff please go to lojo.com and subscribe or you can check out our Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash you can't sit with us HK on our show tonight we have the wonderful James. Hi girls, I lovely keep, to be here. I keep wanting to call you Tom. <laughs> you, you, do look, Tom. you do look like a Tom. Do I look like a Tom? Like Why, yeah. Tom. Why is I think that? I knew somebody who looked like you called Tom. Right, okay. Yeah. That's a really okay. cool story. Tell me what you like, I'm, I'm easy gay. Okay. Thick skin. James oh. is here to uh, facilitate us on how to make ginger jokes. Ginger is a certain type of hair colour that glows in the dark. Um, and growing Apparently. up in England or in the Western world, it was quite an unpopular hair colour. And so people made fun because kids <laughs> are dicks. Until but, now. <laughs> but I don't, I don't quite understand the stigma attached to gingers. Like, what yeah. is the history behind that? I'm not really sure, but in Northern Europe, there's the highest sort of concentration of gingers, and we're sort of. It's all down to genetics. There's a very low chance that you'll become a ginger. So I think we've always been just a little bit of a minority. So you guys are like the yeah. Jews. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were the. So I feel you. I feel your pain. It's <laughs> I just don't. like. This is, okay, I get it now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we get a lot of a stick, but um, we're slowly becoming cooler. It's cool though because it's a recessive gene. So kind of, if you if you are ginger, then it's special. Yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah, like winning yeah. the genetic lottery. I think so. Well, now there's less and less of us. I think that people are kind of like, oh, gingers aren't so bad after all. <laughs> after all, after we killed them. Yeah. <laughs> after we bullied them so yeah, much yeah, that yeah, they yeah. all jumped our family mask. <laughs> so they've sort of extradited this from themselves from society, but now yeah. we're sort of exclusive. But they're yeah. starting to like crawl out from under the, under rocks and like out of caves and things. I think I think the big turning point was uh, Prince Harry and I Ed love Sheeran. Prince Harry. He, and he I got love really he got really hot really fast. Um, also, he's like six also years older than me, so I can say his that. Brother, like. It's so ugly. Yeah. Oh, it's a bald. Yeah. No, but yeah. His brother was a cute one before. Anyway, we're getting off topic. His brother was cute, and then he started going bald. Yeah. Um, anyway. And just started to look more and more like Prince Charles. Yeah, but he did get Kate, though, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah I love her. She's right. got Kate. She's Kate. I love Kate. Oh, Kate. Oh, yeah. I love her. She's so I was more sexy. excited about getting cake, but sure, Kate, Middleton. Oh, um, he probably gets that too. Yeah. Okay, moving on from our discussion of the British monarchy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to think of some, well, you're going to tell us some insults, and we're going to try and figure out why this came about. I don't know. Well, the first and most obvious is uh, ginger pubes. Gin ginger pubes. Is that like fire crotch? Yeah, similar to fire crotch, so, yeah. Ginger pubes means that your hair here in your in genital color. region. Your pubic hair. It's the same orange color as you can't actually see how his hair is that ginger. Uh, yeah, it goes blonde in the sun. Yeah. So, so uh, basically it's like orange. And it's basically saying that your hair down there is orange. That's pretty Unless you shave it and then it's kind of just stubbly. But you could just tell people it's like gold and you're like, you wow, like, this is actually special. This is my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, yeah if you really care that much, or if you're that's what I'd, yourself, I'd say. You just I'd say, this is my pot of gold. Get down there. <laughs> would, you, would you ever have a vajazzle? Uh, oh, so we, we can explain what a vajazzle is. A vajazzle <laughs> is a decoration that you put on your vagina. So you'll the D hair yourself and then put little like diamond rhinestones in any pattern so maybe like a love heart maybe your initials in case you forget um maybe oh, like a map of hong kong i had i had um, <laughs> maybe an arrow yeah like i had an insert here two really stupid things i had a tattoo of my name on my inner thigh which I've since gotten removed. Uh, right. It wasn't even my full name or any, any fancy script. You just said Cassie in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also had a piercing down there, so really? I, I wouldn't. I, really? I think the jazz was That's like, always a bit of a dangerous thing, though, isn't it? Because apparently, if you get a piercing there, you can lose sensitivity if it's through the the main part. Yeah, um, no, I'm, uh, it was awkward at airport security. I only had it in for like a month. I just kind of did it because of the airport security awkwardness where they're like, Zzz. and then anyway, I'm, I share way too much of my life on this show. I had my nipple <laughs> pierced and, and I, like, I never got stopped to. What? I never but got stopped to. It depends what you have as the piercing. 
I don't know, a bar? I don't know. Yeah. Iron, I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, but like, what kind of metal a is it? A huge iron medallion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just swinging just away. Just one big, like, medallion on my nipple, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. That's me. Yikes. Okay, um, so we were talking, we were, we always slide. We were talking about insulting gingers, but we sidetracked to pubes and. Yeah, um, and yeah. So, what is another one? Uh, copper knob. Copper knob. So, are these all penis related jokes? No, they. they so, so, like every insult basically refers to genitals. Yeah, yeah, pretty we much. Gotta, we yeah. gotta, we gotta break that down. So, copper is a color, a lot of that. It's a metal, isn't it? It it's looks a, yeah, orange. It's, a, it's an orangey colored metal. So it's in wires, so if you ever strip a wire back, you get this orange metal there. So, and a knob is a man's genitalia. Yeah. Or the thing that you use to open a door. A door knob as well. But True. In this instance, it's a penis. Yeah, well, it's a penis. It opens up, us up as well, I guess. Yeah. We need to turn it. Oh my god. <laughs> God. Is it what, sorry? It, it opens us up as well when you... <laughs> it, so. Yeah, all of a sudden men tell, tell things like once, once you've touched down there, they're like, you're the best. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's sort of and then they and start then, crying about <laughs> that. And then, and then when, <laughs> oh my God, really? And then you close that door and all of a sudden, oh, you can't speak anymore. That's interesting. It's really interesting. Out. Out. Yeah. Get out. Right, well, get out of my house. We've got to get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what, what other insults do we have? We were, uh, carrot top. Carrot, carrot top. top. Yeah. Well, okay, I don't understand carrot top, right? Because if you look at a carrot, the top of the carrot is green, right? It's called brown if it's old. Well, it just means the top of your head looks like the colour of a uh. carrot. So, carrot top. Right, okay. I'm glad we Wow, Cathy. <laughs> you sure you're not oh, like. He, <laughs> are you a Why don't we have alcohol? Well, I, because otherwise we usually drink I have too much. Alcohol. We drink too much on this show, and then we end up too drunk for you can't sit with us live at eight pm. Everyone, by the way, on Friday nights, just to heads up, just in case you guys didn't know. That was cool. <laughs> um, do we have any other insults? For um, you? That's uh, that's pretty much it. Other than that, we're perfect. Uh, <laughs> what about when people say that gingers have no souls? Oh, yeah, our uh, day walkers. Um, that came from a uh, South Park. Park episode, which was amazing. And then there was this ginger kid who made a YouTube video. I think he was from Canada or, or, or somewhere in North America. Oh, uh, and he was very gingers pale. Gingers do have souls. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. staring, and he was like, oh, and he was a little bit, um, I guess, insecure and a little bit angry, and not exactly he looked like an athlete. And he was just like. We have souls. I've contemplated suicide, and I'm being bullied. And he looked so bad from it. It was so yeah. It was so really sad. intense. Actually, yeah. we're going to cut to a clip of the said video right now, so you can see kind of what we're talking about. This kid is really upset and he's really distressed just from like a name. So be careful what you say to people. Yeah. So we're going to go to a clip. So yeah, bud, gun. That's going to be cut. A, that's going to be a. We're going to put a video YouTube. in there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I just wanted to say that it really irritates me when South Park would say that red-haired people don't have souls, okay? Because we do. We do have souls, all right? And lately, I've been being called a ginger, a fat ginger, by everybody at school. And it really hurts my feelings. I act like it doesn't. But it does really bad. Teachers have souls. I go to church. I'm a Christian. You don't know me. You're not God. <sighs> You're not God. You don't know who has a soul and who doesn't. All right. I'm a Christian. So if you think I don't have a soul, you tell me. Otherwise, fuck you. Bitches, you ain't. For real. It's, I'm getting sick and tired of everyone making fun of red haired people. Like, ah, he's a ginger. Ah, he's a ginger. Ah. Really, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm being called a ginger every single day at school. Every day of my life. And have contemplated suicide, all sorts of things. It pisses me off. Ginger people do have souls, all right? I'm right here. I have right here. I got right here. And I'm proud of it, all right? I consider ginger a very slanderous word, a demeaning word. And I'm tired of it. 
tired of it. You know, everybody else gets respect. I mean, black people, white people, Mexicans, everyone. Gingers, why? Why do gingers have to be put down so much? Like, really, what's so different about us besides their hair color? Huh? Really? What is so freaking different? Tell me! God! Because I don't really see much of a difference, okay? I'm redhead, I'm redheaded, and I'm proud of it. All right, everyone else. I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you, but you know, I mean, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm proud I got freckles. You know, it's who I am. God made me that way, and I have a soul. So, yeah, don't freaking be like that, okay? I have a soul. Ginger and proud of it. Yeah. So, so that is a really, really angry kid. Um, so I think I think you just show that insults do do damage to people. But then I also kind of think that some people are just a bit too insecure. People are a bit too sensitive these days. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I would I would agree. It depends. On I was culture from Queen, well. so I never really had that problem. <laughs> no, actually, people were horrible to me. They were just scared of me. So. Cassie just like, I was the bully, <laughs> I never got mad. <laughs> yeah, I never got mad. Can't beat them, join them, right? Yeah, exactly, okay. that's right. No, I was, I was like pretty badly bullied at boarding school because I had, I had really thick glasses and uh, I was really weird and they used to call me Specky Four Eyes. I used oh, to get that. Geez. I never... Specky Four Eyes basically refers to the fact that I had spectacles on and it looked like I had four eyes. And it was One, two, three, four. I also had the same, I didn't realise that I got bullied at school until after school because like I just give zero fucks all the time. So people Giving zero fucks means she doesn't care. So we yeah. Break all this down. <laughs> <laughs> so people would call me like pigeon chest, meaning like I have no boobs. And like, but pigeons, oh, but pigeons like... So pigeons do this but they're very flat. So even, even if I like pushed my chest out it would still be flat. Oh, that's, so that's if you, you want to call yeah. a girl pigeon chest, do it but she's not going to fuck you. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, there's a there's a limit, isn't there, with playground tactics when you're trying to flirt yeah. with the girl. There's like a little bit of banter, like, a bit of making fun. Oh, you silly Billy! And yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never, outright insults are never a good thing. I never liked guys who insulted me. I I do. I'd like even a little bit. I'm just like, okay, fuck off then. Really? But yeah. I I don't adhere to that. Oh, he likes you. He's being mean to you. I just think that like sets a precedent for a bad relationship later on. But that's very much come from the playground tactics so like when you like a girl and you're sort of eight years old you pull her hair and run away <laughs> they shouldn't be teaching boys to do that <laughs> disagree I, I, well, think, I think it like <laughs> my teacher wasn't sort yeah of like, yeah yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Like, <laughs> attention class yeah, but yeah no no but it's the whole like the whole no girls being told that if a guy does that that they like them mm. i think that's well guys tell each other that as well yeah, I think, you know. detrimental in general yeah. so yeah that's I true i think sorry um, I was just gonna say I also got told to kill myself every every single day for like three years, and like I just I never I never like internalized it the way that other people do, and I was just like that's a that's a mean thing to say, and then just can't carry on being like my weird old self, and like yeah, it, like it's really hard to like f f like to like insult you. You just like sort of like are like mm -hmm. yeah. okay. That's cool. You can give it back as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I'm a lot more sensitive now than I ever was as a teenager. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a lot less than because I, I it like literally the whole of boarding school I was teased about my accent all the time. They're like, "You're American." I'm like, "I'm not." But okay, like that was an insult when I was in school, like being like, "You're American." To be fair, I had a, um, a a teacher at boarding school who do like etiquette assemblies, and he wow. do this thing, and he was he was not even English. He was in was it an all girls school? No, it was mixed. Okay. Um, but he was a South African Anglophile, and he'd say, "An Anglophile is someone who really likes English people," which a lot of you are Anglophiles. And um, a lot of America are Anglophiles, and it's really annoying. Yeah, no, but he'd be like, Actually, "We don't, don't, we don't I, eat I'm bread quite like proud this." Proud of it in a way. Yeah, really? I think yeah, I think uh, it is kind of annoying when people try and be British, but I like yeah. the fact that we're suddenly cool. Yeah. <laughs> like before it was just the Spice Girls. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, you have bad teeth." But the Spice Girls were the coolest. Yeah, and they still mm. are pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Power. Yeah. Power. Did you see our Halloween outfit? Oh yeah, he dressed up as the Spice Girls. Yeah, we did, yeah. Oh, we almost uh, did that last, last year for you yeah. concert with us, but we didn't. It was good. Uh, I was Ginger Spice, obviously, and uh, my Hamza was friend. scary, scary Spice. Okay. Because it's the token brown guy. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Playing up to his racial stereotype. Right? 
<laughs> Even that, it's not black, it's, it's just brown. Brown enough. Is yeah. <laughs> brown enough. Yeah. Um, we're going to go to commercial break and when we come back we're going to talk about the difference between girls insults and guys insults when we give them to our friends. Stay tuned for more Excuse My English. We'll see you in a few minutes. 